And now on today's sponsors, Morgan and Morgan. People, adulting is hard, okay? I know. There's so many things that I don't know when it comes to life. But one thing I wish I did know as a young adult when me and my best friend got into an accident is what to do next. Getting started with Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. In eight clicks, you can submit your claim to Morgan & Morgan, have a lawyer review your case information, and you can even keep in contact with your legal team, your lawyer, all through text message. So if you're ever in an accident, keep it simple. You can get started at forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell. You can visit Morgan & Morgan's site. I left the link in the description. Be safe out there, guys. Mwah. What's up, y'all? What's going on? We are in my backyard because I was like, damn, it's been raining. What is that? It's been raining for months at this point, and we're finally getting a nice little day, so I'm outside with it. I need to clean my backyard, and that's what we're going to do. Today, we are discussing things because I saw this trend going around on TikTok about how like there's just certain things you're not going to tolerate at a certain age. And I was like, dang, that's a good TikTok. However, I got a long ass list. It's not even going. It's three minutes ain't going to do it. That's what she said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Three minutes ain't going. It's not going to cut it. My list is long. Three minutes is way too short. So let's get started because I got a lot. Let's start with the little one. The most obvious one is speaking up for myself. I feel like I had a lot of trouble speaking up for myself. Growing up, especially like in my 20s, I was like, be polite. And like, I don't know what it was. But like, for instance, getting my nails done, if this woman or this nail tech wasn't doing what I wanted her to do, I would say nothing. And I know I'm not the only one. I know for a fact I'm not the only one because I literally just told my mom this and she's like, yeah, I still till this day won't tell them. I'm like, mm -mm. that is one thing that I'm going to do. If I'm at a restaurant and she got my order wrong, I'm gonna be like, baby, love you. I'm gonna say it in the nicest way possible because I'm a nice person. I'm gonna say, I'm so sorry. Um, I said no pickles. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send it back. Might get my food spit on, that's fine. If my nails are jacked up, I'm gonna tell you to fix it. This sun is beaming though. Oh my God, <laughs> it's hot. I'm gonna tell you to fix it because I'm paying for it. I am paying for it. Gosh darn it, I will have what I want. Um, I am too old for road rage, I feel like. All right, because let me tell you something. My road rage was crazy back in the day. I would literally get out of the car and curse you out. Now I'm just like, mm, maturity level is on 100. Calm down. You don't know what that person's going through. We can't be flipping people off anymore. We can't be brake checking people for no reason. Not that I did that. Moving on. I am too old not to ask for help. This is something that I've learned recently, especially because of the kids. Like I am very, I'm a very proud person. So it's like, no, nah, I got it. I can do it. I got it. I will hang myself dry trying to do things by myself. When I have a support system around me, you know what I'm saying? Like I have my friends, I have Isaiah. Like Isaiah, can you just watch the kids for 10 minutes while I take a shower or whatever? Like I need to start asking for help. Like I, my mom's been here for a couple of months and I'm just like using her to the full extent, even though I still feel guilty. She's been so amazing. Oh my God. She's been so amazing. She sees me trying to grind it out, trying to go through all this stuff. And she's just been very supportive. So like I'm going to ask for help. She's been the number one when it comes to that. So I don't feel too crazy. Let me see. Um, I am too old to pretend that I want to go out. I'm going to tell you no. I am okay with saying no. Saying no, people, is like, it's a superpower. I'm too tired. I will cancel on you. I still want to be invited. <laughs> but nine out of ten times, I'm going to be like, mm, I can't. I'm not going to pretend. Like, you know how some people are like, oh, yeah, I'll go. And then they'll cancel last minute. No, I'm going to tell you from the get, like, I might not go. So you might as well invite somebody else. But if I want to go, I'm going to go. I don't know. Setting my boundaries is a big one for me. Setting my boundaries is a big one. Like, knowing my limits, admitting things are hard. Like, I used to be not a punching bag for my friends because that's not the right word. It's more like I would be the person that people would come to when they needed to get something off their chest or if they had something going on or if they needed a place to stay or whatever like I was that person I was that person in a lot of people's lives and I'm still that person but I feel like I need to set certain boundaries like if I'm going through something I've been going through a lot this has been my selfish year and I feel like you know I've been going through a lot and my friends have been really receptive I'm like look I appreciate I love you but right now I can't handle your drama and mine like I am tapped Walk out, bitch. <laughs> like, I'm tapped out. I can only take so much. So setting my boundaries for my mental health has been tough, but it is something that is a necessity, bro. It is a necessity. I'm getting too old 
for small talk. I'll apologize too. I've, I've done it a few times actually in the last few months. Like I'll, I just text my homegirl this morning and I was like, yo, can I give your information to da 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 so that you can get this job or whatever. Like she's looking for this type of person. And she's like, hey, I'm like, oh shit, hey. <laughs> like, oh, hey, good morning. My bad, when I'm in work mode, I, you know, whatever. So I had, had to apologize for not saying like what's up good morning how are you first but that's just the way my brain has been on lately and she's like it's cool girl so i feel like if you're my friend you know i don't do it out of that i'm being rude i just i know i can talk to you that way i know that i can get things done and it doesn't have to be like so how's your day how's life how's the kids everything good what look at the weather i don't need to do all that i need to be like hey what's the right email for you know what i'm saying like and you can do the same thing to me and i'm gonna answer you back like this and then we can end the conversation right there like give me the information i'm gonna give you your information that's it too old for small talk i am too old to tolerate negative people like i cut off so many people i've cut off so many people this year family friends people that are not giving me the energy that i'm giving out cut off if you are talking and gossiping about somebody i don't have time i don't care i got too much going on i got too much going on in my life to care about susan and whoever the heck she's dating or whatever the heck like if you got something going on with you and you want to tell me and you want to vent i'll listen but that's the extent i don't want to hear about anybody else's stuff you know what i'm saying like i don't want to hear about nobody else's stuff i don't want to hear about negativity i don't want to hear about toxicity i don't want to hear about nothing all right i want all positive vibes around me if possible obviously life isn't perfect but you know the intention behind it um i heard my homegirl say i stole this from gabby she was like, I'm too old to be holding grudges. And I felt that like if you had something going on with me back in the day, like you didn't like me or if I didn't like you, we're cool now. <laughs> like We're good. I threw all that out the window. Like there's I don't have a lot of en enemies to begin with. I don't. I feel like I get along with the majority. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I don't burn bridges like that. Like if I don't like you, it's a rarity. Like I, we just don't hang out. Like we don't hang out. Like I don't need to talk crap. I don't need to. Oh, we just we don't. We're not like that we don't need to you know what i'm saying but yeah if we ever had a problem i can think of this one girl in my mind what is her name she has a lot of tattoos she lives in miami like she's like a lot of tattoos i think it's like cherry or something i forget her real name but i love you girl i legit wanted to on-site fight this woman okay but now it's like girl i love you just the same we all go through stuff i have no grudges towards you if she sees me on the street i'm gonna give her a hug and say hey miami in the house how you been so there's that last but not least is my biggest my biggest i think and it's just caring what people think bro you are holding yourself back you are not growing to your full potential because you care what people think and that comes in all shapes and sizes it comes to it comes from like being an influencer caring that i put my tripod in the middle of the freaking road or in the middle of the mall I, listen my tripod goes from like this little thing to like this long ass ginormous thing and i'll put it in the middle of anywhere i held myself back for so many years because i cared about what the people around me thought i don't know any of these people shut up i don't know any of these people around me why do i care what they think about me they're not paying my bills that is one thing i'm not gonna do is care about what people think and that goes to like family friends like i'm going to live to my full potential you know what i'm saying me coming out like me coming out as like lesbian and whatever like i didn't do that because i thought people were going to judge me and people were going to like not like me or like not want to be around me or not be my friend because whatever like no i'm out now and i don't care and you know what it's nice but that's pretty much my list tell me yours in the comments tell me what you're too old for tell me what you're done tolerating you know what i'm saying like it doesn't matter your age just tell me one thing that you feel like i'm not dealing with that no more I'm not dealing with that no more. I spent too much time on that. That's over with. Love these talks. Love them.